Former Macomb County Prosecutor Eric Smith will, in fact, be heading off to federal prison soon. Today, he pleaded guilty to one count of obstruction of justice. Rod Maloney joining us live with more on this. And, Rod, uh, the government says Smith's crimes went pretty far beyond that obstruction charge. Indeed, they did. Now, here's a guy who spent 15 years looking to put other people in jail, and now he is headed there himself. His court hearing today, which was a Zoom conference call, had been postponed because he had the COVID virus. He admitted to having diabetes today, said he'd never been sicker in his life. But here's where we are. He pleads guilty, inextricably changing his future, and leaves a lot of people in Macomb County wondering what in the world happened. Former Macomb County Prosecutor Eric Smith's long-held political sway quickly diminished in 2019 when Michigan State Police raided his office for records and then his home where they removed a security system. Yet, the crime he admitted to today in a virtual hearing came long after those raids. The Fed saying the cover-up happened a year ago inside the Macomb County Prosecutor's office, Smith allegedly bringing employees into a back stairwell without cell phones to prevent recording and worked to steer the investigation away from him. The government's case alleges two separate fraud schemes where Smith convinced a friend and two prosecutors to lie to investigators in a grand jury where he was trying to hide $74,000 in campaign funds that he'd converted for personal use. In today's hearing, Smith told Judge Linda Parker, quote, I attempted to have friends give inaccurate information to the government on actions I shouldn't have done. I knew it was wrong and I did it anyway, end quote. He also said, quote, I fully accept responsibility. I acted alone for myself and deeply regret my actions and the shame I brought to my wife, children, and the office I worked in for 30 years. I accept my punishment, end quote. U.S. Attorney Matthew Schneider said today, Macomb County residents should avoid being disheartened by a corrupt public servant. Today, the citizens of Macomb and the state of Michigan should feel relieved that the system works and people who commit crimes, they don't get away with them. Now, he's expected to serve something between 15 and 21 months in prison. That's what the feds are suggesting. He's also going to forfeit just under $70,000, and he's expected to be in his sentencing on April 27th. Reporting live, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Quite a fall. All right, Rod.